Neo's first expansion, Dragon of the North, adds an entirely new region to the already beefy main game. New Guardian Spirits, new ninjutsu, omni spells, armor, weapon skins, and an entirely new weapon, the Odachi. Also new, which is not factored into this review scoring, is the free precursor patch to Dragon of the North that includes a very welcome 1v1 and 2v2 ranked PvP mode, along with some big balance changes to the max character level, along with the ability to equip two Guardian Spirits. These free features are great incentives to hop back into Neo and try out before deciding if you're ready to plunk down for the Dragon of the North expansion individually or with the Season Pass. The new region added in the Dragon of the North expansion is a mostly snow-covered area, which is a nice change of pace from the main adventure, but nothing that will stick out as awe-inspiring new environments. This area gets the job done to give you a reason to explore and discover the new yokai inhabiting this area, but doesn't mix up the tried and true level design of the original areas. The new yokai enemies seem to be a direct result of the older yokai enemies being pretty easy to block attacks with little to no punishment, but these new yokai can and will easily punish you for blocking since they all seem to have a grapple move to train you to lay off that block button. One of my main criticisms of the base game was a lack of enemy variety and this doesn't solve the issue but it's a step in the right direction. Overall the new region is very enjoyable but nothing surprising to anyone who has played the entirety of the main game. The second big feature is the inclusion of a different way to play Neo which is the new weapon the Odachi Great Katana. Although not immediately super satisfying or unique, the weapon has grown on me with its focus on combos that switch you to different stances and being able to perform devastating grapple attacks. This weapon seems to be very potent in the new PvP mode as well with some instances of breaking an enemy's guard in just a few hits and then killing them outright with the grappler finish. The Odachi is the second slowest weapon in the game but it's all about breaking enemies' guards, counterattacking, and punishing hack and slash players. Overall it's a great addition to Neo's weapon set but nothing that will blow you away with its originality. The last few changes being new magic, ninjutsu, and guardian spirits are a nice addition but nothing that will put you at an advantage over non-DLC players. They act as a few nice ways to diversify your build and play around with some new skills that may or may not get you killed. The new bosses range from decent to pretty good in their design, but pose very little threat for my level 160 character. I'm sure on the way of the strong difficulty that will greatly differ. The new area's enemy layouts are tough but fair, and most of the same tactics you already know will get you through these areas with little problems. Nothing in this expansion was pull out your hair irritating or feel like the developer needed to resort to cheap difficulty tactics or seemingly forget the delicate balance of how to properly design a satisfying, hard but fair challenge that made their game so fun to begin with. The difficulty in Dragon of the North is on par with the same challenge as the base game's later regions. If you just want more Neo and love the game then this is exactly what you will want, but Dragon of the North will not win over the hearts of consumers who are not on board for this type of game to begin with. Overall, Dragon of the North fits perfectly into the main game of Neo as a bonus region to explore and give you a reason to kill more stuff for loot. Anything above the $10 asking price might be more harshly criticized, but I think the price point of this DLC is perfectly fair and justified. If you have been wanting to jump back into Neo or have been playing nonstop since launch, this is the perfect reason to go in and grind out some better gear. The now ever looming goal to better yourself in PvP really helps incentivize the already addicting gameplay loop of Neo. Dragon of the North does not provide many big surprises, but if you're already a fan of Neo, there is no reason why you wouldn't plunk down for this solid expansion. This has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for watching.